There have been so many Cartoon Network shows from my childhood that have sadly been forgotten over the years. Yet, by some miracle, people still remember Chowder. I've seen Chowder tattoos, Chowder music videos. When I eat clam chowder, I think of the show Chowder. What is it about this purple chubby bear rabbit cat hybrid thing that is so appealing to people? Well. Let's start with Chowder himself. An original design that screams, I am the definition of adorable and fun. What you see is exactly what you get with this character. All he cares about is food. He's immature, yet bursting with positivity and optimism. Kinda reminds me of Spongebob. And I'm being dead serious. In fact, the more I watch this show, the more I'm seeing the similarities. They both want to be great chefs. They're both happy-go-lucky main characters. They both can even reshape their original design at free will. Mung. He's more than just some tries too hard to be hip old man with occasional one-liners, which is pretty much how my 10-year-old self remembers him. But now that I've rewatched some of the episodes, I see something very important in his character I didn't see before. He will do pretty much anything to make sure Chowder is happy. Yes, he takes pride in being the best chef in his town, but he never lets his love for his restaurant get in the way of his consistent dedication to being the best mentor and supervisor for Chowder he can possibly be. Schnitzel, rada rada, truffles, she's a <laughs> Schnitzel. Sure, he may only say one word even though there's an episode that proves he's perfectly capable of speaking normal English, but that actually opens the door for the viewers in creativity to make out what he's trying to say in some scenes. I don't understand. So why did ah. We'll talk about it later, when you're older. But when you're older! It's fun. If he spoke normal English, we would have never gotten jokes like this. Yet, they still managed to make him an actual character despite that. They didn't need to make him say one word for an entire series, but they did it because they thought it would be hilarious. It's original, and that's a recurring theme for a lot of the decisions made when Green Black created this show. You've gotta love this art style. The characters themselves are moving, but the designs on their clothing are staying still. This used to trip me out as a kid, but it's really hard not to appreciate creative design choices like this, especially now that I'm older and I can understand what the artists were going for. Why not make your show more unique and memorable, you know? The fourth wall breaks. Let me put it to you this way. The fourth wall breaks in this show alone are good enough to put it in the Cartoon Hall of Fame. Because no cartoon obliterates the fourth wall like Chowder does. There is a 17 minute video on YouTube showcasing all the fourth wall breaks in the series. That should pretty much tell you all you need to know. In these scenes, characters will randomly become self-aware they're in a cartoon. There's a reason why we're all weirdos who make strange food. We're in a cartoon. Cartoon? Yes, just a silly cartoon. No money means no animation. What are we gonna do? Rattle, rattle. No, we are not going home. Why don't we just use yeast? Because this is chowder. But I'm chowder. Right. Chowder is one of those shows where you can tell the writers were having so much fun behind the scenes. They weren't afraid to make their show too stupid. Whatever they thought was funny, whatever would make the episode more entertaining is what they did. But the characters are completely self-aware of how dumb it gets, and that's brilliant. It's something a lot of shows don't understand. They knew it was random comedy that didn't make sense, but it's a cartoon who cares about logic. And that's what I love about it. What I think makes a cartoon relevant, even after 9 years, is the ability to completely push its own limits 
with what it can do with its art direction, character writing, and, in this case, comedy. Chowder does just that, and more. With all these points in mind, Chowder is even better than I remember it. And I gotta say, it also tastes really good. Alright, alright, I'm sorry, I'm sorry.